Andrew Kaylee from Covers back at you with my three favorite MLB player props for Friday, June 16th. We built a nice profit this week, and let's keep that rolling by starting with handing the Toronto Blue Jays total bases baton back to the red hot Lourdes Goriel Jr. to get two or more total bases at plus 150 when they close out their series against the Orioles. After a one-day break, we're back to backing Guriel. And we said that we wouldn't stop riding the Pina Power Train until he cooled off or the value dried up. And well, neither of those things have happened yet. Guriel extended his hitting streak to 10 games last night, and now he's hitting 475 with an 1150 OPS over that stretch, going over one and a half total bases eight times in those 10 games. Tonight, he'll go up against Orioles towering right-hander Tyler Wells. The 6-8 starter has a, has been solid for the O's, pitching through a 3-4-6 expected ERA. Wells had some excellent breaking stuff, but opponents have locked in on his fastball, uh, which he's giving up a 319 expected batting average on. So the Jays could focus on that. And while Wells clearly has improved, he had some trouble with the Jays last season, including against Guriel, Guriel, who went two for three with a dinger against him. The value we're getting with this bet today is outstanding. Next up is Patrick Corbin to go over six and a half hits allowed when the Nationals take on the Phillies. Now, a hits allowed total prop of six and a half for a starting pitcher may seem scary. It is high. So your initial reaction might be to run to the betting window and hammer the under. But hold up. There is seemingly no hits total too high for Corbin, particularly at the right price. Corbin is surrendering a 311 expected batting average to opposing teams this season. And now he must contend with one of the best lineups in baseball in the Phillies. And of course, the Phillies crush lefties. Philly ranks ninth in batting average, fourth in OPS, and fourth in home runs when facing Southpaws this season. With Corbin coming into this matchup, allowing seven, nine, 12, seven, and eight hits over his last five starts, suddenly the over six and a half hits isn't so scary after all, especially when we are getting plus money like this. And we close with Luis Severino to keep racking up the Ks and go over six and a half strikeouts when the Yankees face the Rays. Severino is looking a lot like the guy who finished in the top 10 in Cy Young voting in 2017 and 2018. The right-hander is pitching to an expected ERA of 256, limiting opponents to a 205 expected batting average. And now he's starting to rack up the Ks as well. Severino is striking out a big 11.68 batters per nine over his last six starts, punching out 10, 10, 8, 5, 7, and 8 in those contests. And now he gets to face off a swing happy Rays team. Tampa Bay ranks 25th in strikeout when facing right-handed pitching this season. And they had their problems with Severino when they last met on May 29th. He struck out eight Rays in six and a third innings in that matchup. And there's no reason to think he can't have a similar performance in this one. So that's all for today, guys. To quickly recap here, we're going Goriel for two plus total uh, bases. Over six and a half hits allowed for Patrick Corbin. And over six and a half strikeouts for Luis Severino. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you all tomorrow with even more player prop picks.